So now some problems on motion on uh, motion under gravity. Uh, a stone thrown vertically upwards from the top of a tower, 85 meter high. It reaches ground in five seconds. Find the greatest height above the ground. Velocity with which it reaches the ground. Time taken to reach the maximum height. And here, take g value of acceleration due to gravity equal to 10 meter per second square. Now that is for simplicity. Okay, that would uh, uh, generally we take 9.8 or 9.81. Here we'll be taking 10 meter per second square as it is given in the problem. Okay. So now let us uh, make a simple sketch here. Um, this is that tower, and this is my ground, and this is 85 meter. Now that stone is thrown from here. It is thrown like this. It reaches the maximum height. So from point A, it reaches maximum height B. And then from B, it is coming back to ground. Okay. Now what do we need to find out? They have told us that the stone reaches the ground in 5 seconds. Okay. So my T is equal to 5 seconds. We have G is equal to 10 meter per second square. Okay. And height of tower, let us call it H, is equal to 85 meter. We don't know the initial velocity. Can we find out? Yes, we can find out. Now, actually, the stone was thrown upwards. Okay. And it is reaching the ground okay my starting point is a so with respect to a if a is my reference point then what is the displacement that you know you know that it is 85 meter on the ground right 85 meter below point a so my h would be taken as negative correct now another thing stone is you know initially it is going up and then it is coming down acceleration due to gravity is acting vertically downwards correct so we take the value of g as minus 10 here and we know t correct so we'll use second kinematical equation i'll write down s is equal to ut plus half a t square i know t i know a okay i don't know u and i know s Correct. So, I am going to write here minus 85 is equal to uh, u I don't know. So, that is my question mark. Okay. T is 5. So, 5 into u plus half into minus 10 into it would be half a t square okay so it is uh, my t is 5 so it would be 25 here correct so this would be minus 5 so 5 u minus 125 would be equal to minus 85 so my 5 u is equal to now this minus 125 goes on the other side so it would be uh, 40 there and my u is equal to 8 meter per second so u is my initial velocity but then is it what is asked over here no that is not asked what is the first part what is the greatest height above the ground okay now for greatest height above the ground um, it starts from here so now I know my initial velocity okay so for a to b okay for a to b my u is equal to 8 meter per second what about velocity at b it is reaching the maximum height so my speed is going to become zero at point b isn't it so i'll just write my v is equal to zero my acceleration is equal to minus 10 meter per second square okay greatest height 
above the ground we want. So we'll just find this height and then add 85 to that. Okay. And we also want the time taken to reach the maximum height. So we can do that. Okay. So my T is equal to question mark and um, distance AB. So S AB is equal to question mark. Correct. Here, can we use uh, the third kinematical equation by which we can directly get this S here, distance AB, correct? So, V square is equal to U square plus 2AS, okay? Now, what is my final velocity? Is it not 0? Zero? 0 is equal to U square, that is 64 and minus 2 into 10 into that would be s correct so my s would be equal to 64 upon 2 into 10 so that would be equal to 3.2 correct so 64 upon 2 would be 32 upon 10 that is 3.2 meter correct so uh, the max greatest height above the ground for, for greatest height above the ground I need to add this 85 meter isn't it so uh, my h I would say h is equal to h plus s that is 85 plus 3.2 that is 88.2 meter so uh, the greatest height above the ground that I found the time taken to reach the maximum height okay how much time it takes from here to here okay I know that my velocity at B is 0 I know my velocity at A I know acceleration so I can use the first kinematical equation for um, getting the time to reach the maximum height so V is equal to U plus AT so my 0 is equal to 8 minus 10 into t so i take this 10 t on this side so t is equal to 8 upon 10 that is 0 0.8 second so it takes 0 0.8 second to reach the maximum height so my third part is done okay velocity with which it hits the ground now how do i do this so now I have B to C. Okay. I'll write it here. Motion from B to C. Now what is my initial velocity at B? It has reached a maximum height at B, right? Maximum height. That means my velocity over there is 0. Correct. So for B to C, my initial velocity U is equal to 0. Correct. What is my final velocity that I don't know and that is what I need to find out. Correct. That is question mark here. My acceleration is equal to minus 10 meter per second square. That is given. V, U, V and A is known. I want S. Uh, no, even S also I know, right? So what do I need to find? Velocity with which it hits the ground. Final velocity I want. And... S I know, so that is equal to 88.2 meter, correct? I'll use third kinematical equation. So V square is equal to U square plus 2AS. So that is equal to U square is 64 minus 2 into 10 into 88.2. How much would that be? Uh, it would be. Okay. Now in this case, should you take this negative sign here? Should you take this negative sign here? Now it is going from here to here. From B to C, it is going in the direction of uh, the acceleration. Correct. It is accelerating so i i will take this as positive so then it becomes 64 plus 
882 into 2. Uh, so whatever is that? 882 into 2. So that will be 4. 1764 plus 64. That would be. So it would be 1828. And my V would be equal to root of 1828 meter per second. So then my second part is also solved. So that is how we uh, address this kind of problems. So whatever data is given, you write down the data, make a sketch, right? And gradually, step by step, you should go. So what I did, first of all, I found out, um, I found out the velocity, then I found out the height, correct? And, and so on, right? In the next video, we are going to talk about one more problem on uh, motion under gravity, right? Thank you so much.